All right, what's going on YouTube? It's Finuity, and today we're playing Rumble. Something I haven't played in a little bit, but it's the Crucible Daily today, so I think we're going to give it a try. All season, I touch a mouse for the first time. Not sure how this is going to go. Okay, won that gunfight. I forgot I was using a sniper for a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, I lost that gunfight. That was intense, but... So I want to talk to you guys today about the Crucible meta right now. And if you don't know what that means, in other words, the state of Crucible right now. Like, what's going on, what I'm seeing, my observation, how I feel about it. And I'll be blunt. It's actually really good right now. Wow. There's a lot more diversity in the weapons right now compared to, like, during House of Wolves, where all you saw was, you know, Thorn, the Messenger, the stereotypical usual weapons. I'm gonna get shot. I killed myself. Oh my gosh. At first, I used to touch the mouse, like I said, so... I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. So during hospitals, everybody was using thorn, shotguns, the messenger, that type of thing. And nowadays, there's a lot more diversity. I'm seeing Red Deaths, Hawk Moon, and a lot more snipers, in my opinion. Still some shotguns around, but but more snipers. My one thing I wish for was that people were going to start using sidearms, because I'm actually a big fan of those things. But it hasn't happened yet. There's still oh, I'm stuck. But yeah, there's still hope that people are gonna start using sidearms. I just don't think Bungie did a good job of implementing them in this DLC. I expected a lot more legendary sidearms, maybe even exotic one, but that didn't happen, obviously. Got a trap. Woo! The touch of mouse is actually really good for my first time using it. I'm not probably not giving it like <laughs> making it look as good as it is because I'm not used to playing and talking yet. So, I'm not exactly at my peak right now, but it's actually a really good gun, honestly. I could see myself doing really good with it. I just realized, or just remember, you don't even have to tap this thing. You can just hold it. Wow, I've been by red death. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, people are using a lot more diverse weapons now. Pulse rifles, they're legendary. Besides, like, the messenger and stuff, and... Snipers are more common, different types of snipers, swords now, machine guns, rockets. So it's like a lot more diverse. I'm enjoying it. Oh, that's a good 298 helmet. I could have sent something with that. But yeah, as I was saying, it's changed a lot and it's actually really good. I give props to Bungie on their weapon balancing because there will always be those dominant weapons, in my opinion, like Red Death, Hawk Moon, for example. You know, snipers are always going to be dominant because, you know, one shot to the head if you're good with it. But, they did a good job of finding ways to make us 20s a lot of different weapons. As you can see, my inventory right now, Touch Malice, I just got. I use my Red Death, Hawk Moon, Bullion Gemini. It's like my go-tos right now. And I would have more of my inventory, but obviously I can't hold everything. I try to hold space for engrams too. That's another thing. Getting thrown into games, like I just got thrown into a game, is really, really, really annoying. I know it's not like the worst case scenario because it could be actually way worse. But it's still really annoying because it throws me off honestly. Because Bond's already changing up. The other team is doing stuff I'm not used to because I just got in here. It messes me up. Man, that's annoying. I hear people do that. They just poked their head out, you barely even shot them and they're gone. At least he came back. <laughs> but yeah, the most common weapons I'm seeing in the Taken King so far, Red Death and Hawk Moon probably. Everything else is kinda diverse. I see Monte Carlo, I see the last word occasionally. I see Bullion Gemini occasionally, but mostly Red Death and Hawk Moon. Those are the ones I probably see the most. I wish I had access to like data so I could see that, which ones really are most used. I really feel like sidearms are slept on, especially the Havoc Pigeon. Because it's like probably the best sidearm in the game. <laughs> it probably is. I, I don't see anything better. But yeah, I feel like they're really slept on. I wish people gave them a try because they probably want to drop their shotguns and some people ride their snipers for it because it's actually really good. 
That's a good example of a straight clean fight right there with the uh, touch of malice. And I have actually a T this thing to raid because um I just got it like last night. Which is pretty much after I completed our raid. So just gonna have to wait till the reset to get tested out. Oh god, I lost that. For me personally, taking King has me playing different game modes. Like I've been playing Skirmish a lot, Elimination a lot, Rumble. Well, not Rumble, I mean Rift. Oh, I choked. That's another thing about the oh, I'm touching mouse. I'm not sure if that's what just happened just now, but when you get to the one bullet thing, I don't know if I realized it happened. So, I think it'd be nice to have a high recovery with your class when you're using it for when you damage yourself a lot. I choked, yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching this Venuity, and hope you guys enjoyed this Touch of Mouse gameplay. And let me know what you guys think about the state of the Crucible right now. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and check my other videos. Peace.